I've got another question here, and I think this is a good time to kind of uh, break into this one uh, because Mike, you know, Mike Rose asked this one again too, and um, he's up in Maine, a uh, beautiful place, and um, he wants to start a club. So, um, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, not just ham radio, you know, in general, but the emergency aspect at all, at all, and. Um, there's um, not too much. There's there's no clubs or a lot not much activity up in his neck of the woods. So he's kind of asking about some um, general information on starting a club to promote ham radio. Uh, so now I I haven't started a club and but you know I've been involved in working with our our local ham radio club for twenty some years and I know Joe is my predecessor. <laughs> and you know what if you want to run for president again you certainly can i would let you do that <laughs> oh geez i've been i don't know how many times i've done that so <laughs> right. yeah, i know how many i have so starting a club and you know what i i think it can be you know getting getting started in a with a you know ham radio club it can be as simple as just getting a group of people together and uh, maybe meeting for breakfast once a week and see how things kind of coalesce and um you know that's 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 really loosely organized and uh, but if you want to take it the next step further then you really need to think about organization and um that's where we get into things like um you know, bond, uh, constitution and bylaws, and uh, you know, with the possibility of incorporation. Yeah. And if you, you know, and, and that's that's where it, you know, um, the AWRL's got resources on that. If you want, ever want to hit, you know, go that route, um, it's their um, affili affiliated club resources. So, you know, and they'll tell you how to. Um, create a constitution and bylaws. And even if you don't, even if you don't think the club's going to go anywhere, you know, it's, you know, I don't want to collect dues or I don't want to, you know, um, I don't want to, you know, uh, amass equipment. Uh, it may be still a good idea to have sort of, you know, not a formalized constitution, but just a um, sort of a general outline or agreement on things. Basic and, you know, rules. what basic yeah. rule, rule, rules, roles, you know, what your purpose is. You know, membership requirements, how are you going to meet, you know, if you're going to have officers and things like that, you know, finances and, um, you know, what to do if you want to dissolve. So it's that's that's the kind of things you've got to kind of think about. And uh, the league right. can really help you on that if you really want to get on, you know, want to get so formalized on that. But, um, you know, just kind of starting out, the easiest thing to do is is, like I said, is to start, you know, maybe like a weekly or monthly breakfast kind of thing, you know, and then see if you can get. Um, you know, back in my Boy Scout days, you know, we used to say, you know, wanted to start a new troop. Well, we need we need two adults and six kids. So, um, yeah, if you can get six, eight people together, <laughs> you got you got yourself a club. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's as easy as that. So one thing to consider, um, you know, you have some very specific in your email. Yeah, I have it here. You have some very specific ideas of what you want mm -hmm. to do. Um, you need to keep it as broad as possible in a rural area. Mm -hmm. If you're in a very like a big urban area, okay, then you could have a specific club for yep. emergency communications, for microwave, for contesting. But in a rural area where you don't have a lot of people, uh, you need to keep everyone's interest, and you got to understand that the club is going to direct where it's going to go and what it's going to do. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's good to get a club going. Um, you, you talk a lot about emergency communications here. Yep. And that's a very good thing. But remember, not everyone wants to do emergency communications. Yeah. Your best bet for long-term growth, long-term uh, sustainability, and to spread the seed of amateur radio is to keep it general and to support any and all amateur radio endeavors. Yeah. Really. And, and that's coming from me being president for the past five years of an amateur radio club in central Wisconsin, is that we do everything. There's a little bit of contesting. There is a little bit mm -hmm. of public service. There is a little bit of experimentation. And you got to foster all of that. Um, yep. And I'll say this, and I've said it to the club. 
being the president is the worst part about being at AM. <laughs> <laughs> because I got to do things I don't want to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to do it well, all. And it's, Michael, you've done it too. I've, I've, um, done, I've done it too, yeah. It's very rewarding. Mm-hmm. It, it really is. But it's, it's um, some days I just want to sit in my shack and listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yep, I, I know like you mean. I love doing test sessions. I love being the guy that sits down next to the next to the test testy and saying, "Well, I hate to tell you, but now you got to take the general because you passed your tech." <laughs> I enjoy doing that, but some days I just I just want to be the guy in the shack making a couple calls and having a good yeah. time or building something. Um, because there's a lot of responsibility with a club too, you know. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you know, it's all the politics. There's politics mm-hmm. involved, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, not not political things, but you know, keeping everyone happy. You know, there's taking care of the business. You mm-hmm. know, there we, you know, our club has 13 repeaters. Some we've inherited, some we built. You know, uh, you know, something happens with one of those, or there's an issue at a tower site. You know, I'm the guy who's got to, you know, take yeah. a half day off work, go to talk with someone, you know, to try to figure things out. And, and sometimes I don't have enough hair to pull out. Um, <laughs> but just remember that if you're, this is where you want to go. Um, you're, you are going to be a servant of the amateur radio community mm-hmm. and God bless you. God bless you. But um, be ready for some days where you just want to just pound your head on the desk and say, I'm done. I should have stayed at CB. <laughs> Yeah. Well, now that we now that we said all of that, you know, it's it's you know also you know the forming a club and um, participating with a club is is greatly rewarding. So it's um it's can be, you know, when you you do a public service event and everything comes off right, you know, it's the greatest feeling in the world. So or you have a test or if you sponsored a testing session and everybody passes and um, that kid passes uh, all three tests in one sitting. Yeah. Yeah. So school. it's or, it's great. You know, so- someone's kid gets their license for the first time or, you know, field day and everyone comes out and has a great time. Those are great things. Oh yeah. Again, you pull your hair out, but (laughs) it's great. (laughs) Yeah. And I think I'm going to just finish up here with the emergency communications aspect, because um, if you're really serious about emergency communications, then um, the ARL's um, ARIES or Amateur Radio Emergency Service Program would be the kind of the place you want to explore. And there should be a um, section emergency coordinator in the state of Maine. And that would be the person you'd want to kind of talk to if you really want to think about starting an ARIES group in your um, in your county. And, uh, you know, talk to your section, you know, Either, either talk to your section emergency coordinator or your section manager for the state of Maine, and they will kind of, they'll, they'll, they'll help you get connected with your local emergency manager. That's a county position that, um, you know, if you really want to get into that emergency communications kind of thing. So, well, actually, Mike says, you know, follow-up question here. Some people dislike the term club. Is there anything more user-friendly to call it? It's called Saturday morning hams and eggs. So. <laughs> <laughs> we we have a local guy actually, um, and that's what he started. Just hams and eggs Saturday mornings, yeah. the fourth Saturday of the month. Uh, it's been on hold. This is the first Saturday in a year that they've been able to do it. Yeah, they just get together. There's yep. no there's no specific interest. Like you have a license, show up. Be it thinking about getting a license, show up. Yep. Get some eggs. We'll t- we'll talk about something. It's a good time. It's really a good group. And that may just be the easiest way to start start the ball rolling. You know, or, or call yourself, you know, like a like, you know, the um uh the the Millinocket Social Club or something like that. You know, maybe you're uh, you're a drinking club with a ham radio problem. So or vice versa. <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> like we are. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. 
For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.